Hi guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, a little different than my normal videos, we're going to be very negative today. We are going to be talking about the seven worst makeup products I tried in 2019. So if you are interested in hearing about these products, then just keep watching. For me to put these products in a video like this, like, they've got to be pretty bad because I feel like I can make a lot of products work. There's not a lot of products that I really don't like. If it's a product I don't like, normally there's a way that I can think of wearing it or come up with a way to make it better. So when I had to think about the worst products that I've tried this year, I really wanted to narrow it down to a specific few products that came up at the top of my head because I knew right away these are products that just didn't work for me. There's a lot of products that I don't like and I can make work and these are products that literally I could not make work for me. That being said, this is just my own personal opinion. If these products work for you, that is great. Everybody has different needs when it comes to makeup, different preferences, different skin, different lifestyles. Just because it doesn't work for me does not mean it's not going to work for you. In fact, I hope it does because I don't buy makeup with the intention of not liking it so these are all stuff that I've tried to make work for me so just my opinions let's get into it so there's a couple of items that I did end up returning and I'm sure this video would have a lot more items that I didn't like but quite honestly I can't remember if I've returned it it just kind of goes out of my memory but here are a couple items that I do remember so the first one is the makeup forever let's gold eye palette now I can definitely see a lot of people liking this but for me the color saturation just was not there. The colors were very plain for the price, in my personal opinion. It had so much potential and it being from Makeup Forever, I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be fantastic and it just was like the biggest dud. I couldn't get color from a number of different pans and the ones that I could, it was just so dull on the eye and I just felt like for the price and for the Makeup Forever reputation, my expectations were very, very high and they were just not met. There's drugstore palettes out there that I felt like had better quality and pigmentation than these shadows. That being said, somebody who likes a really soft look for work, like this probably is a great palette for you, but just for my needs and from my experience with previous Makeup Forever powder products and color products, this just wasn't it. It was a huge letdown. I didn't like it. I did a whole review on it. You guys can check it out if you would like. It's a very negative review, so just be prepared for that. But yeah, that was the first dud of 2019 for me. The next item that I ended up returning were the Charlotte Tilbury Latex Love Lip Glosses. So these were limited edition, but it looks like they are currently still online, but they're supposed to be highly pigmented, hydrating lip glosses and they're those lip glosses that are extremely thick with a lot of pigmentation however they are so extremely uncomfortable on the lips they're super goopy in my review of them I didn't think they were that bad but then I just realized they really were not functional for every day and I was very disappointed because it's Charlotte Tilbury it's so pricey and I expect a lot from her formulas because she has such great formulas but these were just so thick and sticky and they wouldn't stay on your, your lips. They would just travel on your face and it just wasn't pretty. It felt really gross and it smelled really weird, very chemically. Yeah, no, it was just not a good product from Charlotte. I'll give it to her. It was highly pigmented and felt hydrating, but it also felt disgusting. So for me, wasn't a big fan of those. I know a lot of you guys were not either, but definitely that came to mind pretty quickly when I was thinking of the worst products that I've tried out this year. So the next products that I have are two foundations that just worked horribly for me this year. So this first one is from It Cosmetics and it's the Confidence in a foundation. Now this is not the worst foundation I've ever tried, but I just feel like there's a lot of mistakes that happened with this foundation. I did a full review on it and wear time and things like that were not bad, but there was just something wrong with this foundation where it would pill up on my face and there was like little white balls on my skin, which was very odd. Some people were saying that is like a mattifying ingredient that just didn't blend into the foundation or melt down or whatever it was. Whatever it is, 
it was weird this foundation is grainy and it was a very big launch for it and I think a lot of people were curious because my review actually garnered quite a lot of views but it was a very large launch for them because it had such a large color range and it was in all of the Sephora's they had a very large display for it basically in every store and they completely took these off the shelf I think this foundation was just getting such terrible reviews that they just forgot the launch happened and made it disappear so yeah this I mean this foundation sucks it's very mattifying it wasn't comfortable on my face it was pretty heavy and it was grainy and had like white balls inside extremely weird a horrible launch as far as foundations go just saying not very good i wore this a few times though i'm not gonna lie like it's not the worst foundation ever i could make it work but it was not good okay moving on the next one again i gave a horrible review on this this is the giorgio armani power fabric high coverage foundation balm now i actually know there's a lot of people who do like this so you are not alone i know people like this but this did not work for me at all first of all the armani luminous silk phenomenal and i was so excited for this and so it's a balm so basically it kind of has like a cushion foundation packaging and then here it literally is just a balm that you put on your skin and it feels super lightweight. I was very excited for this foundation. I could just stick my sponge in and put it on my skin and it would do great. This made me look like I took a trip to the Sahara Desert and did not drink any water for weeks. Every little dry patch on my skin was exposed by this foundation. It sunk into every fine line in my face and I'm only 23, okay? And there were dry spots on my skin that this accentuated that I didn't even know exist. So if you really are looking for something to expose the dry spots on your face so you know where to exfoliate, go with this because it will make things you didn't know exist, exist on your face. That being said, I know a lot of you like it, but I tried to make this work a billion times and it just wouldn't work for me. I have a drier skin type, so this definitely didn't work for me. My mom has a oily skin type and this still showed dry patches on her, so I know it's not just me that experienced this problem. And what is so funny about this is it was launched with a concealer as well. And the concealer is in my favorite makeup products of 2019 and it's so hydrating and it's so lightweight and I just don't, two completely opposite products. The concealer, amazing. This, not so much. Moving on. So this one I have is from NARS and this is the Endless Orgasm Palette. And first of all, is this packaging not stunning? I am in love with it. It has kind of like a rounded top. And then you open it up and it is six cream shades. Now what I was hoping to get out of this product was just six like cream blush kind of formulas cream highlighter kind of formula and oh i did not get that with these so these are all cream formulas but i feel like this is children's makeup there's a couple colors in here that i could make work like this but this made me an oily mess and the majority of the colors were just like pure glitter it's like clear with pure glitter this was just like not a good palette I would put it on my eyes my eyelids would get so extremely oily but these colors are odd they don't really work on the face I don't know where to put the colors there's one or two colors that kind of work as a blush but not really it's just really shiny and metallic on your face so when you put it all over your cheek it emphasizes all your texture you look like you have metallic on you and then you try and use it as a highlighter and it's just all these chunky glitters like this palette is so bad this is the only color that i liked as a highlight kind of uh but my dad is putting together ikea furniture right now so if you hear stuff in the background that's him but yeah no this was horrible the cream formula itself isn't horrible but it still kind of feels a little bit oily to me just not formula that i would expect from nars they don't have any individual products that are the same formula as this and that's a good thing because this is just a very not good formula so yeah i mean this was a waste of money i don't know why i didn't return it all right so the next item is fairly new and this is from my girl natasha girl you did not do it with this one this is the natasha denona 
glow gold so this is a little gold highlighting trio and i thought that my biggest concern with this was going to be that it just didn't work with my skin tone but no the bigger issue here is the formula yeah this is a lot of money and this product is just not good. It is pure glitter on the face. I was supposed to return this, but I am the worst returner in the world. I'm not a big makeup returner just because ugh, it goes in the trash anyways. But this item like needed to be returned. It was a huge waste of money. So I want you to see this. These are the two highlights. So see, see how they look in the pan? Look. Like nothing. And the only thing you can see is glitter pure glitter on the face i did wear this a couple times just as an eyeshadow and it was pretty it was like a sparkly gold eyeshadow but that's not what i paid for i have plenty of sparkly gold eyeshadows in my eyeshadow palette collection that i keep under this table no this this is a weird formula it's kind of like a gelée formula it almost feels oily though as you can see it feels like it's getting hard pan i get no pigmentation from this product and i only get glitter all over my face when i use this as a highlighter and surprisingly it's not really too dark for me it works color wise for me but it's just sparkle all over my face and you will kind of concentrate it right on this area and then it just ends up all over your face this is just not a good product it was accompanied by a little mini eyeshadow palette that was pretty good but this duo itself was not good all right and now it's time to talk about the seventh and final product for this video it is an eyeshadow palette and this is the morphe and jeffree star palette collaboration now it's so funny because i i mean the this palette did not work for me in the slightest at all it was it's pretty bad and the video that i made on this palette got so much hate like i've never had a video where people were so rude to me it's crazy when you talk about these very big influencers they have the most psychotic crazy fans oh my gosh i need to read you some of the comments so basically let me talk about this palette it's really really pretty and i understand it's a morphe quality palette i have a few morphe quality palettes in my collection i like them i'm not gonna lie they're kind of my guilty pleasure there's something that feels cool about using a really cheap palette with so many colors that actually like works pretty well this was not one of them i have tried this palette time and time again and it sucks every time the colors are patchy they blend away they're too powdery i can't get a half decent look with this palette and oh my gosh let me read you some of the comments that i've gotten this video was made months ago and i am still like getting multiple comments a day about how horrible i am at doing makeup the way you apply your makeup is so cringe I'm not even going to read this one, nor did I. I know it's telling me how to apply the, these crappy shadows, but like people are like writing paragraphs. They're like putting a lot of, like this is how passionate they feel. Like I'm not even reading it, people. They're pressed pigments. Figure out how to use them and then try and talk trash about the queen of makeup. Just get better with makeup before judging the queen. Shake my head. Girl, you literally do not know what you're doing. Don't blame the palette. Girl, I'm blaming the palette. It's not good. Use different brushes for different colors or clean your brushes. Anyways, the comments go on and on. <laughs> and the amount of time people spend putting their two cents in it's like crazy. Like, it's been three, four months. This palette is still not good. This isn't Jeffree Star's formula from his regular makeup line. That is a good formula. This is not. The shadows blend away and I've tried a lot of eyeshadow formulas in my life and it's not my technique. That's all I'm gonna say. It's just not a very good formula. And you know what? If you can make it work, that is great because this I, this has gorgeous colors. I bought it because I really liked the colors, but like, <laughs> I don't know. Just every time I talk about like Jeffree Star, Tati, Jacqueline Cosmetics, always it's so controversial. And it's really sad that like we can't just talk about makeup, you know. I'm always going to be honest on my channel about whether or not I like the product, no matter who created it. So yeah, anyways, those were the worst seven makeup products I've tried in the year 2019. If you want something a little bit more positive, you can check out my favorite makeup items of 2019, as well as my favorite eyeshadow palettes of 2019 to see what I've been loving. But these were bad. 
and it was kind of fun to talk about it. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching my channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, I sure do hope you take the time to do so, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.